thing. If you just transcend this one thing, ninety percent of your spiritual work is over, that's all. You don't have to go in search of God or truth, it will rain upon you. I want you to pay attention. All of you should pay attention to small things. A blade of grass, a leaf, an ant. You paid… you saw an ant, huh? Really closely, you must look at an ant. Whoever made this ant, whoever made this ant, has it been made… made with meticulous attention or simply, okay, blo just a bloody ant? What do you think? Very well made? Well made or no? Very well made, isn't it? Fantastic ant actually, not just a bloody ant. So if the creator, if the source of creation is willing to pay that much attention to a tiny little ant, who the hell are you to decide what you like and what you dislike. In doing… there is a very big difference between doing what I like and doing what is needed. When you start doing what is needed, there is no such thing as what is it that I like and what is that… what is it that I do not like. If you just transcend this one thing, that I like something, I dislike something. If you just transcend this one thing, ninety percent of your spiritual work is over, that's all. Because the karma, <laughs> the karma generating machine, the basis of bondage is just this, I like this, I don't like this, I love this, I don't… I hate this. Once you divide creation like this, your ability to touch that dimension which we call as a source of creation is out of reach for you. In doing something beyond what is me is where a human being comes to a place where he becomes available for grace. Grace is there. The question is, are we available? We like this, we don't like this. You like a cockroach? Why? <laughs> suppose, suppose, suppose Shiva came in the disguise of a cockroach, what will you do? Huh? Namaskaram you'll do <laughs> But how will you know it is Shiva or just another cockroach? Huh? How will you know? You don't know. So better do namaskaram to every cockroach <laughs> because who knows which one is Shiva? <laughs> Very simple. This is what this culture taught you. You see a tree or Shiva. You see a stone, Shiva. You see a dog, Shiva. You see a cow, Shiva. Because you don't know. You don't know today what is his disguise. Better not take a chance, isn't it? At least start with the human beings. You don't know in what disguise he's come today. Huh? Isn't it? This is why whoever you see, because who knows today what is the disguise? If you're like this, grace will be upon you, there's no question. You don't have to go in search. You don't have to go in search of God or truth, it will rain upon you. It will <laughs>